Good morning, evening, and afternoon, everybody. Check it out. We are doing another modern deck tech. We have for you Collected Company Stompy. This is a mono green aggro deck. Um, it is on the budget side. There are some uh, sideboard cards in this version of the deck. Plus the playset of Collected Company, um, which is indispensable, really. Uh, that maybe put it out of the budget category of decks, but it's definitely worth uh, picking up because Collected Company is a multi-deck staple that's run in uh, a couple of combo decks in Modern. Um, you know, and, and it has some other redundancy, like uh, your Dismember and some of your sideboard cards, Treetop Village if you're planning on running mid-range strategies, and uh, a lot of the other pieces are just not that expensive. So let's get into it. We have 20 lands because, as I mentioned, we are an aggro deck. The only variable in the land base is that we are running two creature lands in the form of treetop villages, which are uh, super efficient uh, two mana to make a 3-3 three, three, uh, creature with trample until end of turn. That's uh, one of the better man lands in the format, especially if you're in a mono green build. Uh, it does get outclassed by like stirring wildwood or uh, uh, other you know Zendikar block creature lands. Moving right along, one drops. The deck does uh, run eight one drop creatures. Dryad militant uh, was really good. Uh, now is kind of variably good because exiling incense and sorceries will sometimes give fuel for the black Eldrazi deck that is. Uh, on the rise, but uh, the the flip side of that is that sometimes you'll run into a, a new blue control deck or, you know, twinless blue variant, <laughs> and it's very good against them because they're trying to uh, use Snapcaster and Jace to get uh, maximum value, multiple uses, and flashbacks out of their instants and sorceries. This puts a stop to that. Experiment 1 is our other one-drop creature that synergizes quite well with the rest of the deck. Uh, you'll notice he has the evolve mechanic. That's his primary feature in this deck. Um, being able to remove counters to regenerate will sometimes come up. Vines, uh, greens, green counter spell basically for removal. Uh, not really. It's a, it's a This card I cannot say enough about. As an infect player, this card wins me uh, innumerable games before the twin ban uh, playing either mono green aggro or uh, you know a green deck like infect you could use your vines to uh, to shut down the twin by targeting their creature because you'll notice it doesn't say target creature you control its target creature can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control so that just uh, made the the twin fall off but even in a post twin world this card is super versatile Super efficient. Uh, just a powerhouse card. <laughs> Moving right along to the two drop slot, Scavenger Ooze. Scavenging Ooze, pardon me, Scooze. Scoozy from the block is a 2 2 that uh, has a great ability, very mana efficient to pump the creature and gain you some life, which comes in handy in numerous matchups. You're also exiling cards from graveyards, which, as I mentioned earlier with the Militant's ability, uh, removes some of the, uh, or uh, loses some of its utility facing uh, processor decks. However, still just a powerhouse screen creature in the format. Avatar of the Resolute, if you by chance play an experiment one that gets a couple counters on it by way of evolving, Playing an avatar on turn uh, two or three can potentially get you a uh, you know a four three or bigger with trample and reach, which is a huge game. Uh, this card is super good. Colonian Tusker is one of the uh, weaker creatures in the deck, and it's three three for two. Uh, so if you like creatures and you like beating down, you're kind of you are kind of by now getting picking up what I'm putting down as far as the green stompy deck goes. Strangle Root Geist, uh, you know, the themes that we want with all of our creatures of being under three mana cost, having uh, some form of recurring value or um, 
ability to make them larger, get counters, for instance, uh, synergizes uh, well with uh, Avatar the Resolute. Dismember is just a all-purpose utility removal spell. Uh, the fact that you can cast it with Phyrexian mana means that a lot of decks that aren't necessarily black are going to use Dismember as their uh, go-to for uh, quote-unquote colorless removal, which includes us. We love this card. We'll cast it on Tarmogoyf all day long. Leatherback Bailoth is our own Tarmogoyf. Uh, he only, I mean, he costs three, but he is just a four or five. Uh, you can get two Leatherbacks out with a Collected Company. You're sitting pretty against most of the format. Stonewall Atassiger. Uh, not a Gurmog Angler, though, but that uh, that's kind of a corner case in Modern. Yeah, Bayloth is a beating. I've had, uh, <laughs> I, I can't remember, but it was some flavor of uh, blue control deck pre-ban. I collected company into two Leatherback Bayloths, and he, the opponent just said in chat, I can't beat this, and scooped. So <laughs> that'll give you some idea of what multiple Bayloths do to poor fretting blue decks. At any rate, let's move on to the sideboard. As you can see, I, some of the things in here are going to be a little pricey, namely Choke, uh, which, you know, was like uh, four tickets at the time I bought it. It might have gone down since the 8th edition flashback drafts may have, uh, you know, uh, revitalized the supply of the card. Uh, but Spell Sky is going to be a costly addition to the deck if you do choose to build it. Um, but it is quite good for uh, for making sure your creatures stay on the board, slowing down aggressive decks. Yeah, it's uh, it's more or less indispensable. Relic, um, I'm not sure if we want this card in a post uh, Splinter Twin ban world. With uh, I just I'm just really wary of exiling anything these days because it can and will be used against you. <clears throat> so that's uh, that could be considered a flex spot. Oxidize, um, <clears throat> Unravel the Aether, all these Reclamation Sages and Creeping Corrosion are kind of our uh, de facto uh, anti-affinity package. Uh, we take that threat very seriously as an aggro deck that can actually race us. We want to take them out. Feed the Clan will uh, pat our life total a lot of times, gaining us 10 if we... Uh, use it strategically in conjunction with like aspect or a pump scavenging ooze or a leatherback bailoth or you know we, we we can get there with feet the clan relatively easily so we run three third scavenging ooze uh because he's just a fantastic value creature and in the matchups where you want him you definitely want to be drawing into at least one uh, yeah, so that is the deck. It uh, is very fun to play. Feels really good to just collect a company into big old synergistic fatties that trample and become huge. And then, uh, you know, fire up your treetop village and just crash into the red zone. And that's what this deck is all about. Playing big fatties and crashing in. So if that's your bag, uh, give it a shot. You can see the deck list right here and I'll be sure to put a link uh, in the description. While you're down there, hit the like and uh, subscribe to the channel buttons. And you can check out all the games I post using this deck as well as modern matches featuring Nicodal Burn, as well as Popper League videos, which are coming up as a feature on the channel, and much more. So we hope to catch you around here at Moximus Games. As always, I'm Max. Thanks for watching. Have fun, do well, and we'll catch you next time.